This project was made possible through a grant from the Emily and William Muir Community Fund. The start of the summer is always a busy time along the coast of Maine, and the summer of 2010 was no exception. Preparations were underway for the annual increase in activity for both commercial fishermen and recreational boaters. Moorings were being set and lawns mowed, but at the Hinkley Boatyard, known for its world-class sailboats and motor launches, there was an unusual sight. Surrounded by a seasonal armada of luxury vessels, the Jacob Pike sat high and dry, her 60 years of working-class heritage rapidly starting to show. Years ago, when I was young, I cast my nets into the sun. And with my father's hand all on my shoulder, hauled them home. The nets moved like a living thing, all from the fishes held within. And homeward bound we'd laugh and sing, an honest day's work done. We threw our fortunes to the wind And now we just remember when There was lots of fish in Bonavist Harbor Oh, no more Lots of fish all in around here Oh, no more A marine survey was conducted to determine what changes would be required to turn the pike into a floating classroom. The results were not encouraging. In addition to the significant costs, meeting Coast Guard requirements had the potential to compromise her historical value. With the future of the Jacob Pike at stake, the museum made the commitment to find someone who could successfully take this historical icon back to the salt waters of Maine and give her a future. The Pike had at least one more storm she needed to weather. And there were no guarantees. Rockland, Maine still has its working waterfront. It is not unusual to see commercial fishermen getting ready to try and make a living from the sea. What makes this scene unusual is the boat, the Jacob Pike, back earning her keep as a working part of Maine's coast. Although she has returned to a familiar environment, she's experiencing an interesting change in roles. Instead of bringing salted fish back to shore, the pike is now taking them out. Every morning she starts the day by pulling up to the pier and loading up with bait fish. Rookie. Yeah. This amazing change of fortune for the Jacob Pike is due to the efforts of Jamie Steves, Joanne Campbell, and the Pike's new crew. Being a kid, I remember it well. I remember seeing it deck loaded more than once. And I don't know, it's just part of Rockland, just like the other one, Rockland Gulf. I mean, they're, they're just part of this town. They deserve to survive. It's not about me. It's about the boats earning their own keep so they can survive. It wasn't a difficult decision whether or not to get the boat and fix it up. I knew that I'm in the right business right now, that the boat could essentially take care of itself. I figured if the boat can make its own money, it has a, a chance of survival, and it is making its own money. I got crew on it buying lobsters on Matinicus, and she'll be just fine. She's in good hands. She's next to a railway. She's gonna go on the rail shortly, and at any given time, we can put her up there, and I got a lot of knowledge around this shipyard. There's a lot of knowledge here. A lot of people have looked at it and know what it's going to take to get her back to life. I 
I heard the, he told me that he was getting her, and I was, you gotta be kidding me, as she's such a well-renowned boat. And I saw her out of the water uh, down to uh, Southwest Harbor and took a look at her bottom, and she's, she's pure, fast schooner. Uh, she's not like a modern boat at all, and she is, as far as big boats are concerned, and I've worked on, uh, worked on deck on a lot of them, she goes through the water as good as any I've been on, just smooth as anything. Yeah, well, right now we're just, um, Pretty much in uh, the triage stage of um, finding out, um, you know, where uh, new structure, new wood needs to go in, and she needs um, mercifully little of it, uh, from what we can tell so far. Below the waterline, she's in pretty phenomenal shape for a 60-year-old boat um, with no major reconstruction ever, ever happening. Um, you can probably credit that to the um, really high-quality yellow pine they built her with, which was uh, leftovers from World War II. Uh, from my sweep of construction. Uh, there's probably some 40 or 50 foot long planks in that boat. Uh, wood that you just can't even dream of getting anymore. Um, uh, but right now I'm um, just beginning to uh, lay in new uh, cap rails into her. Uh, and uh, I think as soon as the season's over, as soon as the season is over, I'm gonna be um, uh, continuing and finishing that and working our way down to the waterline. The Jacob Pike is now traveling through another chapter of maritime history. With her, she brings memories shared by generations of people whose lives were connected to the main sardine industry and a heritage of working waterfronts. Dogfish eyes and mackerel's eyes, and they hunger after me. Net or where, I don't care, catch me if you can. Cold, deep and bold, I wish that I could see. 